hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a full lace wig cap making a full lace wig yourself is kind of like a complicated process but if you settle down to watch you'll probably understand what i'm doing okay so you want to have your pen your paper and everything so you jot down what you're getting so it won't be difficult for you to understand so the first thing i did was to check the part of my swiss lace which i'm going to be using always say in my previous video you want to use the parts where the lace appears to running vertically okay remember to get your pen and paper so i'm going to be measuring um 11 inches from left to right and i'm just basically marking the 11 inches point so next up we're also going to measure another 11 inches so on the first one we measured we're going to measure nine inches from the bottom to the top remember the first one was from left to right so this one is from bottom to top and on the other 11 inches we are going to measure seven inches from bottom to top okay so that way we are getting our height and now i'm just basically cutting out the two laces that we measured So next up, we're going to be measuring 10.5 inches on a third lace. You get from left to right, okay? So I'm marking the points now, and I'll also measure 5 inches from top to bottom. So remember, 10.5 from left to right, and 5 inches from top to bottom. So now we have three laces one measuring seven times 11 that's seven by 11 the other measuring nine by 11 inches and the last one measuring five by 10.5 inches okay so i'm going to fold the first lace into two that's the nine times 11 lace or nine by 11 and then i'm going to look to locate the midpoint and make a dart at the midpoint so i'll know where the midpoint is this is a very important step and you do not want to miss it so next i'm going to use my office pin to secure both ends together and i'm just going to make a slant drawing from the dot to where the office pin is is okay so just watch so you understand what i'm what i'm doing because i'm trying my best to explain to you guys so just make a slant curve from where the midpoint is to where the office pin is so next we're going to move to the second lace measuring seven by 11 inches okay so we're going to also um, fold that into two to locate the midpoint so guys we're also going to make the darts at the midpoint to locate the midpoint and then use our office pin to secure both ends we're going to measure 2.5 inches from the top where we made the darts downwards and then we're also going to draw a straight line and then we're going to draw a straight line from the 2.5 inch, inch point outward and also make a curve at the top part guys this thing is kind of complicated but i don't know if you guys can see just watch so you understand what we are doing okay and then we're going to move to the third days which is five times 10.5 inches and then we're going to secure the end using the off pin and we are going to make a dart on both ends you know the previous one we used to only make the dart at the top part but this we are going to make the dart at the top and bottom part of the lace okay and then you're just going to watch how i'm going to outline this one because i don't really have like a specific measurement for this but it's just like a freestyle cutting or a freestyle measurement so just watch and see what i did here so i normally don't use liners to outline like this when i'm making caps for my work because this will just um, ruin the whole lace and make the whole lace look colorful but the, i'm only doing this because i'm using this as an example to show you guys what i'm doing okay so this is what it's looking like you just want to freestyle something and make something like that you can screenshot so you get it and then i'm just basically going to cut out all the um shapes we've been drawing out from each lace okay you want to also ensure that you're cutting both parts of the lace like the two sides you paint together using the office pin you want to ensure that you're cutting both of them so that the shape will also be obvious on the other side of the lace when i remove the office pin and open the lace you're going to understand what i'm trying to say okay so this is the first part the one measuring 9 by 11 and this is going to serve as the front of the cap and i'm also going to show you the second one measuring 7 by 11 so this is what it looks like and this is going to serve as the back part of the cap and this is what the third one is looking like and 
this is what's going to serve as the middle part of the cap so next up we're going to be taking our bands so we have the very wide band not very wide but the wide one and next we're going to be taking the tiny one and also the elastic band so i'm going to place the tiny band in between the wide one so you want to place it at the middle of the wide one and then i'm going to cut about five inches of both bands together okay so just watch and understand what i'm doing i'm going to cut five inches and then i'm going to measure five inches from the top of the back part of the lace to the um to the bottom so you're just going to mark the five inches points because that's where we are going to be placing the band okay the wide and um, tiny bands together so now that we have marked that point we're just going to place the band i couldn't show you guys exactly what i was doing here because of the angle of my phone but i hope you guys can still understand so i'm going to use my office pin to secure both bands to the lace okay and remember the narrow band is at the middle of the wide one so this is what it's going to look like when you're done securing it so next up i'm going to take the elastic band and i'm going to cut um 10 inches and then fold it into two and cut it into two five inches and i'm also going to take the hook this is what the hook looks like remember all items are available for sale and then i'm going to pass the elastic band through the hook So guys i'll be using my mini sewing machine and my transparent thread to sew the band and sew everything so if you have this um if you have a sewing machine can use a sewing machine if you don't you can use a um, needle and thread but that would take a very long time we also have this other smaller mini sewing machine for sale in case you want to buy any of the two of them so i'm just basically going to be sewing the hook and then come back to show you guys the next thing to do So guys, next up, I mark the slant line from where the mid band is to the end of the lace. Okay, please, I'm just trying my best to explain everything to you guys. So I'm just going to pin the elastic band um, following the lines that I marked because that's where the elastic band is supposed to be. And I'm just pinning the elastic band to the lace. So when I'm done, I'm going to also show you guys what it looks like so you understand what I'm trying to say. So next up i'm going to take like a random um lace just like a piece of lace or something and then i'll fold the um top part and fold the side inward and then i'm going to place it by the side of the elastic band i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain so i also folded the other side and i'm just pinning it to use the pin to secure it so i can later sew it i'm also going to repeat the same process on the other side and then come back to show you guys what i did Indeed. So this is just basically me showing you the size to sew and decide not to sew because if you sew those other sides you are going to um prevent the band from moving so you want to only sew the edges and don't sew um where the head of the elastic band is and you want to also make like a, a small line in between the middle band so you have somewhere to hook the band on
so guys remember the darts we made so this is where the darts are very very important okay because that's where we'll be joining the parts together remember this is the mid part of the cap so the shorter side is for the back and the longer side is for the front okay so i'm going to fold the um part where i have the darts um, on the shorter side because that is where we are joining to the back part and then i'm just going to place it on the darts of the back part and then secure it using my office pin so you want to also ensure that the folded end is on the part where you have the band because that's the back of the cap and i'm just going to head right into joining the two parts together i really wish i could show you guys you know the whole sewing process but the angle of my um, camera could not allow me um film this part so i just hope you guys understand what i'm doing So guys i'm done joining the mid and back parts together and this is what the cap is looking like at the moment so next up we want to join this part to the front part of the cap okay so remember the darts i'll be making two folds on either side of the darts like about one to two inches from the darts so this is what the fold looks like and i'm going to secure it using my office pin this will help the front parts to have like a curved look so i guys i'm sorry but please watch and understand so i'm also going to make another fold on the other side so from the fold to the dart is about two inches just so you have an idea of how to make the fold so i'm, I'm going to first sew down the folds and then join the front part of the cap to the other parts that i've already joined together so i'm going to be folding the remaining part of the center piece um, on the point where we have the dart and we're placing it on the dart of the front part of the cap and we'll also secure it using our office pin and then we just basically sew it down and we are done with everything